is in your time in the fitness industry, and it's a long time, we're talking 31 years, what has been the biggest surprise that you've had to deal with that you did not see coming? Oh, look, it's got to be the failure of the Reebok slide. I was sure that slide thing, you know, where you put the booties on and you move laterally. Uh -huh. I was sure that that was just going to take off. No. <laughs> um, that was a joke. <laughs> uh, not a lot of hockey um, in Australia, I take it. No, not a lot of hockey. It, it, it's a perfect uh, tool for hockey players, but for the average yeah. person, uh, I'm not sure they've got the adductors and abductors to withstand mm -hmm. that uh, that exercise. Look, oh, you know what? I I think um, I think the thing that has amazed me about our industry is the resilience that we have. Um, we've been through uh, in 31 years. I think I've seen two, three, probably four different levels of recession, and yet people still exercise. We, they still want to exercise. But the thing that disappoints me is that we're still only getting 20%, maybe 30% in some countries of people exercising on a regular basis. There's still a plethora of people that are not exercising. They're not moving at all that we should be trying to work out how we can get them to move and move more often. Um, there's still this gym intimidation. There's still people are scared of, of personal trainers. Um, and we've got to re reduce that. But we are a resilient industry and we do withstand lots of different pressures. Uh, and I think this is now a big pressure that we've got to not only withstand, but we've got to embrace. How do we get more people uh, moving and moving more often? That is the billion dollar question to solve. Whoever solves that is going to be a billionaire if they can dive into that 70, 80% untapped market of people not moving. I, I talk about it all the time. 